Okay guys, you saw the title. We're going to be talking about Psalms 23, verse 4. Let's get into it. Okay guys, welcome back to another video teaching. I'm your host Isaiah, as always, and like and share, comment, do whatever you gotta do to get the word out, guys. Um, this is not gonna be a long video, so um, I'm gonna jump right into it. Let's do this. So like I said, we're gonna be talking about Psalms 23, verse four today. And this could be quick video teaching. Okay, so it says, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will, n I will feel no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So, this is a powerful thing. Now, remember, people might, people might twist this and say that God put us in this situation to walk in the valley of shadow death. It's not true. Even though I, I, catch the word there, I, it didn't say, even though God put me in this valley, I will not be afraid. Now catch the word, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, the darkest valley. You know, there's a lot of translations, but even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. So, so it's us, the ones, we are the ones who decide even uh, where we go down into sin, the wrong way, where we do doing these things, where we fall into the enemy's trap. And we walk in the dark valley. But what, but what happens though? God is still with us though. He's still with us. He will let no evil come upon us. So we will feel no evil for your rod and your staff. They comfort me. Think about that. Even though after we've sinned, after we've fallen short of the glory of God, God is still right there next to us in the valley of the shadow of death. So it's really us. Because God can never put you in evil. He's not evil. He would never do that to you. So it's us who go down that wrong way. Remember, you have a you have a path. You have a destiny. But it's up to you if you're going to maintain that straight path or go down in the valley of darkness. So when you do that, when you go down to the darkest valley, God is still with you. So you feel no evil. For His rod and your staff, they comfort you. So God eases those rough places that you experience a season that you when you experience in that season so he eases those rough places when you when you were in sin when you were bound with those things he eases those rough places in your life okay so he may, so okay the lord is my shepherd i lack nothing he um he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths. Catch the word. It didn't say evil path. It says he guides me along the right path. But even though we sometimes want to do our own thing because it's it, it, we think it's gonna get us there faster, which is really not. It's not true. It's a lie from the enemy. We go down this wrong path of evil. So when we say, ah, you know what, God, you know, we're, we're just going to take a little shortcut. But God's saying, no, 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 just keep, just keep going on this right path with me. I, God, I want, to take the, I want to take the shortcut, though. He will not stop you, though. Remember, you have a free will. He will not stop you. So when you go down that wrong path, so when we walk um, through the darkest valley, we will feel no evil. Why? God still comes and it says, we will feel no evil. So he says, you will, so he says, I am with you. I am with you. My rod and your staff, they comfort you. That's what he says to you. I am with you. My rod and your staff, they comfort you. You will feel no evil. I am with you. But God, I went down the wrong path. I went down the wrong way. It doesn't matter. I am with you. I'm going to help you through this. I'm going to dust you off. And you're going to get back on track. He prepares a tail before you in the presence of your enemies. And he anoints your head with oil. So this is a powerful thing right here. So in the presence of your enemies. So every person that does you wrong, every person that does you dirty. He appears here before you in the presence of your enemies. Okay. So he anoints your head with oil. Your cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow him 
all the days of your life, and you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So catch catch this, ladies and gentlemen. After we after we told God, you know what, God, I'm good to go down this path though. I, I, I want I want to see if I get quick. I want to see if I make it here faster. I'm, I'm just going to see what's going on over here. When we go down that wrong path, God is uh, God's like, I already told them not to go down that way, but they're not listening. But he doesn't say, you know what, you're, you're, you're going to learn from this, whatever. He doesn't just, he doesn't just, um, that just, uh, wave you off or whatever. No. You know what God does? He goes in that dark valley and he says, you know what, I am with you. When you, when you, when you're worried and everything, God, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Right there. It comes in. I am with you. I am with you. My rod and your staff, they comfort you. My rod and my, and, um, and staff, they comfort you. Because I am with you. So no evil will come upon you. Because I am with you. So it's us who makes that wrong turn. Remember, catch the word. Even though I, 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 it could be anything that you are battling with. But even though I fall down short, I fall down short of the glory of God. We've all been there. I've been there myself. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But it's our choice either to stay on that either to stay in that dark valley or to say, you know what? I'm not going to let this define me. I'm going to rise up and I'm going to go forward. I'm going to go forward in the name of Jesus. I am going to go forward. I'm not going to let no sin define me. I'm not going to let darkness define me. I'm not going to let the enemy tell me who I am and belittle me no longer and beat me down. I only listen to God's voice. God, help me. Right in there, he comes in that dark valley. He just waits on you. And then he says, are you ready now? And then you say, yes, God, I learned my lesson. Okay, let's go on this path then. Let's go on this path. That's what he does for you. That's what he does for you. That's what he, that's what he wants you. He wants to help you, you know? He is your guide. He is your guide. He's guiding you on the right path. It's your choice either. Uh, God, but I want to go down this way. He won't stop you, though. He's, he's already warned you. He can't stop you. But he's with you in that dark valley. But it's your choice if you want to stay in that dark valley. If you're going to get up and rise and be the man of God and the woman of God he's called you to be. It is your choice. So, guys, I really want to encourage you with that. Do not stay in that dark valley. And get up, rise, and go forward with the lord you know get out of that dark valley get out of that condemnation get out of that guilt and shame that is not god that is the enemy who brings that upon us but you don't have to live like that you have a destiny upon your life that god wants to fulfill and he loves you so much i mean he loves you he adores you don't ever think that he doesn't care about you don't ever think that he he puts this upon you to teach you a lesson he doesn't I mean, God is an absolute good God. He doesn't do this stuff to teach you a lesson. It's our own sin that leads us down that road, down the dark path. God's plan is prosperous. God's plan is a destiny. It is perfect. It is, it is peaceful. It's life. His plan is life for you, for you and for me. He doesn't want you to go down. He doesn't want you to fail. He wants to see you victorious. He wants to see you victorious. I'm talking to you. He wants to see you thrive. So in 2024, he wants to see you keep running the race, going on the right path. I want to see you on that right path. Don't get distracted by the things in this world. No matter what happens in months to come, no matter what, stay on the path. Stay on that right path with God. Keep going forward. No matter what happens, no matter what happens, no matter what comes your way, I want to tell you, keep going going forward because you have a destiny a great destiny upon your life and he loves you so much he loves you so much okay so guys i love you god loves you god bless you like this video sh um share it like share comment do whatever you gotta do to get the word out um uh, maybe if any of you share this with them i'm going to be a blessing to god's people so guys i love you god loves you and god bless you remember you are victorious don't let nobody else tell you different. You will be you'll be thriving this year. You will thrive and you will not go backwards in the name of Jesus. I love you. God bless you.